It's been a while since I updated you on my journey to becoming an SE. Did I pass all the exams and earn the coveted SE title? Or did I give up? Let's dive in. I started my journey a while back, in January 2022, with big dreams. My goal was to pass everything while the exam was still paper-based. At the same time, my wife was expecting our first baby and we had just bought our first home. 2022 was the year to do it all. Earning the SE would have been the cherry on top of an already very exciting season of our lives. But just like engineering, life is not always linear. My first challenge was the gravity exam and it took me two attempts to knock it out. I finally passed it in April 2023 right after the birth of our first baby girl. It was a tough ride, but I got through it. The lateral exam was next, and the stakes were high. October 2023 was going to be the last paper-based exam before switching to computer-based, the CBT exam. I gave everything I had, but I felt just short. I was devastated. If you watched my previous videos on this, you know I studied so much, hundreds of hours. But as tough as it was, there is a silver lining. I got to dive deeper into topics that I genuinely love, like wind loads, a topic that is very relevant here in Florida with all the hurricanes. That deep dive inspired me to create a playlist on wind loads, which you all seemed to enjoy. It even sparked an idea for a full course. And if you're interested, check out the link in the description for all the details. Now back to the SE, I had to face the computer-based exam now without any notes or summary sheets. I thought focusing on the depth exam would be a great idea because I wouldn't need to study bridges, just buildings, but guess what? It was a bad idea. The exam was honestly a disaster. With a shocking passing rate of 16% for the lateral depth, it was clear that NCES still had a lot of work to do on the new format. And this is with most engineers studying hundreds and hundreds of hours. Needless to say, I did not pass. Now, with baby girl number two on the way early next year, I am rethinking my approach. Instead of rushing, I'm going to slow down and wait for NCES to iron out the kinks on the depth exam. This time, I'm going to start with the breath exam, which had a much more reasonable pass rate, 45% and seems to be better suited currently for the CBT exam. When will I take it? I'm not sure yet, but here's what I do know. I will be launching my Winload course in January for a small group, just 12 members who sign up before December 15th. After that, I'm going to shift my focus to supporting my wife as we grow our family. Life is full of ups and downs, but I am not giving up on my SE journey Thank you for being a part of this ride. If you're interested in the course, all the information is in the description below. But also if you're here for SE updates, wind load tips, or just some inspiration, I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.